You guys want to talk about something important today? Catch me! What? Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome to 1010 Good Boyfriend, the vlog that teaches you everything you need to know about being a better partner for your loved one and just maybe a better person. In this series, I'm gonna teach you all the best relationship tips, dating and gift ideas, relationship advice, taboos, social standards, and more. And this vlog doesn't just apply to guys either. Anybody can use the tips I'll be providing here. Boys, girls, man, woman, you name it. I'll even have guests come by every now and then to share their unique perspectives on things. So for the topic of my first vlog, I decided to go with something a little bit specific, but it's something that anybody can relate to if they're in a relationship with someone that's going through this particular thing. So I don't know if you know this, but nursing school is hella hard. And if you are in a relationship with someone that's enrolled in nursing school, you have no doubt heard about how hard it is. And it's no wonder. According to a study posted last year by the NSSE, nursing ranked in as the 12th hardest college major, only getting beaten now by engineering majors and other specialized medical fields. But as us media majors can tell you, our schooling wasn't that easy either, seeing as how we rank in at, uh... Number 52 out of 55. 52 out of 55. Anyway, nursing school is hard. It's very stressful. These people are learning how to save lives for a living, so naturally the curriculum is going to be intense, and that can put a lot of strain on someone. So it's our job as 1010 good boyfriends and girlfriends to be there for our partners to lean on for support when they're in a high-stress career. And in this episode, I'm going to show you a simple but thoughtful way to help your partner get through a night of studying, care plan making, or to just help forget about the frustrations of the day. Okay, so first off, grab an oversized shirt or a sweater that you're not going to mind losing for a while, put it on the floor, and just roll around it to get your scent on it. <laughs> because for some reason, girls just love things that smell like their boyfriends. Next, grab a blanket and repeat the scent transfer. Because if there's one thing that girls love more than having clothes that smell like their man, it's a blanket they can swaddle themselves in that smell like him. Now, for the final touch, we head to the one place that your girl can get lost in forever and never want to leave. Inside Walmart. Yeah. That's right, boys and girls. The key to your woman's heart isn't through expensive jewelry or over-the-top ugly high heels that she chooses to wear on casual lunch dates. Think about it. Your girl's a cute little snack, right? So treat her like one and buy the girl some snacks. All you have to do is walk into Walmart Make your way to the candy aisle. Do your best to ignore the seasonal stuff that you are obviously addicted to. And locate her favorite candy. Maybe get a little something for myself. Then purchase the goods, hop into your car, and head over to her place. Pro tip, crank up some tunes to get yourself in the mood while you're on your way over there. No regrets. Once you get there, gather your items, knock on her door, and wait to present your tribute. I guarantee you, she will not be disappointed. I'm sorry you had a bad day. Thank you. I'm gonna get so bad and happy. All right guys, that does it for me. Remember to always be there for your partner when they're feeling stressed out. We're all we've got in this world. And if you ever find yourself in the hospital, please do your best to be kind to the men and women working there. These people work 12-hour shifts day and night. They go through hell on a daily basis to make sure you don't end up there prematurely. So while you may have valid reasons to be upset while you're there, remember that these people have seen it a dozen times already during their shift, and they are doing their best to help you. All right, that's all I've got for this episode. Thanks for watching the very first episode of 1010 Good Boyfriend. If you like what you saw, leave a like or subscribe so you can stay up to date on the rest of my videos. And if you've got an opinion you'd like to share on this particular topic or something else along the lines of relationship things, go ahead and leave a comment. Let's discuss it. 
All right, the video is officially over now. Take care.